Hi and welcome to another edition of our online newsletter. This week for my middle school report, I'd like to focus on student achievement. Our students at Hazel Glen College do so many amazing things, but this week we've got two students in particular from Year 7. Anjali Raj and Kobe Gilchrist have been doing some pretty special things both, both locally and internationally. And for this week's newsletter, I'd like to hear from them. Hello. My name is Kobe Gilchrist and on the 11th of May, myself and nine other students went to Mill Park Arts and Convention Centre for the Places Conference, which is a conference about how children think. Representing Hazel Glen College, we were there to share our knowledge on the ecological wonder, the river red gum tree. We conducted experiments last year as well as having a guest speaker out to teach us about it. We went to a conference that year where we taught other school students about the river red gum tree and then it was our turn to see what they had to say about it. We then got asked to be involved in the Places Conference, and of course, we said yes. We had guest speakers, which were very interesting, and then it was our turn. We got up on stage and introduced our project. We had a PowerPoint, which had pictures of all the work we had done. Then we presented our movie, and then asked questions at the end, based on the information from the movie. We also had a display table for teachers to come and see the collections we had gathered from the wetlands and our research information. Overall, it was an amazing day and I wish I could do it again. Hi, my name is Anjali Raj. I'm in Year 7. This is my first year at Hazel Glen College. My previous school was Plenty Valley International Montessori School. I've had the privilege to participate in the Montessori model of United Nations, which was held in Rome from the 25th of April to the 28th. Montessori model of United Nations, also known as MMUN, is an educational stimulation in which students can learn about diplomacy, the problems that affect different countries in the world, and the role of the United Nations. MMUN is about working as a team, respecting different cultures and giving voices to the leaders of tomorrow. Also, in the MMUN conference, children from around the globe come together, deliver speeches and share their thoughts and ideas on how we can solve our worldwide issues, make the world a better place for all. I had so many wonderful experiences at the MMUN conference, so it would be hard to decide my favourite highlights. But a few that really stand out for me would be the cultural night, where we all did performances to represent our respective cultures. Also, the special moment when I was told that I was one of the few children elected to speak at the World Food Programme to pass a resolution, and also getting to know children from different parts of the world. From my experience at the MMUN conference, I learned that it is very important to educate children about their rights and how children can be the most powerful weapon that can change the world to make it a better place for one and all. I also learned that we all are so fortunate to live in a country like Australia, whereas there are so many children around the world who do not even have the access to basic human rights. The conference has inspired me not only to empathise with such countries, but also to find ways to support them. I have many dreams that I aspire to achieve in the future, but most of all, I would love to continue participating in the international conferences, such as the UNO and other organisations, that will support me to become a good leader and make a positive difference in our world. Now I would like to take this opportunity to thank our prestigious Hazel Glen College for all the much appreciated support I continue to receive. Thank you Angelie and Kobe, truly amazing achievements. Hazel Glen College are very proud as we are of all our students and certainly over the next few newsletters I'd like to continue to celebrate student success throughout our college. Our Year 7s are heading off to Hall's Gap this week and we're really looking forward to that experience. We hope that they have a great time as all the students back here at the college and we look forward to seeing you around the college soon. Thank you.